Hello and welcome to today's LEC Summer 2022 preview video where I cover Misfits Gaming, otherwise known as Misfits. They only made one move this past offseason, but I feel like it dropped them down the ladder to 7th in the region, allowing her it to go to the wayside and starting irrelevant. Um, I'm not, you know, I went over this actually when the move happened, when it was announced. Um, I didn't do it when the rumor started, but obviously when it was announced, I did in my news and notes video um they are dropping down the um you know I don't, I, they're dropping down i don't understand why they made this move um it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me i think Harit, i know he had problems but i be believe he was a pretty good laner um even last year he had a bad split but uh 2021 he looked very good irrelevant stats are not that great at a lower level in eu masters um you know but first things first, they went 12-6, and six, finishing third in spring, uh, sneaking out a couple wins, surprising a lot of people with how well they played. Vethio comes through with MVP. I've been a Vethio fan for a long time. If you watch my videos from the beginning, I was a Vethio fan before the split started. Um, regionally, they went 11-7, and seven, finishing fourth in their region for um, their uh, uh, development team, as, uh, Misfits Prime. So irrelevant, 785 CS per minute is not good enough, 53% KP. So he is not hard committed to fighting in team fights and not in the side lane by himself, supposedly farming, but not really. Um, 785 CS per minute is not that great. Um, you know, I just did the Damwon video, you know, just a second ago that went up on the channel yesterday. And you go through those top laners and in LCK Challenger, Don Juan's third string top laner averages 9 CS a minute. And then this guy averages 7.85. And he's starting. It doesn't make any sense to me. 23% um, kill share. He has kill potential. Frankly, I don't want him stealing the kills if he's going to put up poor farm numbers. 21.9 gold share. That kind of, the kills are helping boost him up to a point where he gets some items. But it hurts the team elsewhere. He played 11 champions in 18 games. Maybe tone that down. Um, because, I mean, your 11 champion pool that you used in 18 games didn't get you to where you were actually able to keep up in lane. Um, jungle, I mean, they have, they have no um, top laner for the regional team right now. Irrelevant is playing for both. Um, jungle, Shlatan, uh, the rookie, was okay. He had moments, actually, specifically on the Lee Sin that stuck out to me. He did some very good things on Lee Sin. Um, we'll see how he does in summer. Um, 287 KDA, nearly 5.5 CS per minute to go with 62 KP. Um, you'd like that CS to be higher given that he only has 62 KP. Um, you see junglers with 70 to 72 KP with um, similar CS numbers. So they're making more things happen with the same amount of farm. Schlatton only had 14% kill share. That is like borderline, excuse me, like that's awful. Um, I mean, obviously... Uh, he is not a carry on the team, but 14% is not great. And only five champions in 18 games. You would like that to be bigger. That's one of the smaller champion pools we've seen out of any of the four major regions when it comes to junglers. And then you have Zanzara. Uh, Astralis's um, jungler gets, um, you know, the boot. And he goes to Misfits, and he's the backup. 243 KDA, 493 CS per minute. In the LEC last split, 4.93 is not good. That's awful. That's only a couple, um, eh, nah, it's more than a couple. Maybe a handful of junglers actually have averaged under five, under 5 CS per minute in the four major regions so far when I do these videos. 79% KP is probably the highest, though. So, you know, you give and take a bit. Um, Zanzara made everything happen for Astralis. In my opinion, he was not the problem with Astralis at all. Um, they have a top down problem. Um, 19% kill share, 18% gold share, played six champions in 18 games. Maybe if he's backed off on the trend a little bit, um, things would have went better for him. Um, in mid, Vathio, a very, very good mid laner, extremely talented. We'll see if he can double down on his spring this summer. If he can continue playing that way, we are looking at possibly a uh, change of who is the best mid laner in EU. Obviously, like I said, this has been one split, so we'll see if he can put it together for a second time. He had 9 CS per minute. That is extremely dominant in mid, especially when you take into account 
74% KP. So he is fighting more often than not. Three out of every four kills has Vethio's um, fingerprints on it in some way. And he's also farming extremely well, getting ahead in lane. 5.89 uh, KDA, 34% kill share. He was the carry for Misfits. 24% gold share, 11 champions in 18 games. All around a very, very good split. He was my MVP. He ended up being the MVP of the LEC. A very good player. Um, um, Shajak, Sh Shajak, behind him, 478 KDA, 851 CS per minute. 85 is bare minimum, in my opinion, for mid. If you want to be, you know, that's like the threshold. 67% uh, KP, that's okay. You know, is he ready for LEC? Not yet, but he's getting there. 24% uh, kill share, 22% gold share, played 9 champions in 18 games. A solid mid laner that's probably growing and developing. I doubt he's older. If he is, well then, he is what he is. Um, but he is not going to challenge Vethio for mid. Bot lane, I feel like this is an issue for the team. Probably um, the biggest issue on the team after spring was Neon. Um, if you can't get 9 CS per minute, that's not good. We just went over this in um, yesterday's video. Um, 3.88 um, KDA to go along with it, 66.4% KP. So he gets into more fights than your average AD carry, but his CS numbers are a lot worse than your average AD carry. I mean, he's giving up a half a CS or more a minute. 29% um, kill share, 23.6% gold share. Um, you know, people are going to say, oh, well, Vethio, they just kept feeding Vethio. And it's like, yeah, but. 8.94, you give up a lot for, I mean, Vethio is gaining maybe 0.5 CS per minute, maybe you're farming, you know, by feeding him farm. Um, but your Neon's giving up like a whole CS per minute compared to the elites of his role. Um, four champions in 18 games is downright terrible. Um, I mean, that kind of just shows how other teams felt about Neon, that they're like, okay, play whatever you want. Because we're not worried about you. We're not going to ban a couple of your champions. Um, only four champions played. Uh, Woolite. Um, Woolite, sorry. Woolite behind him. Um, been around a long time. He's a veteran. I doubt he's going to see any LEC time anytime soon. 423 KDA, 922 CS per minute, 69 KP. Solid player. Carries the academy team. Brings along the young players. 33% um, kill share. He carries. Played five champions in 18 games. Um, I know that he can play more than five champions. Um, he's been around the block. Pretty much all there is to say about him. Uh, Mursa, another rookie. So Mursa and Schlatan came onto the scene and got this team to third place as rookies. Uh, 69 KP, 2.5 KDA, eight champions in 18 games. Given that he's alongside of one of the, I don't want to say one of the worst, but one of the lesser bot laners in the LEC, It'd be nice to see Mursa alongside somebody a little more capable and uh, to bring him along. And then Vander, another veteran, 68% um, KP, 389 KDA, 8 champions in 18 games. Um, so Misfits bot lane um, is older in the tooth when it comes to Academy. So we'll see, um, you know, development-wise, this backup team actually is, you put together the best team you could, which I, I like. I like I've said this before multiple times today in multiple videos and in general. Having competition and players that know what they're doing on the academy team or the development roster is a big deal. That allows internal scrimming. That allows competition and forces the starters to go to the you know next level because they don't want to lose their job. Um, so having Vander, Woolet, and Zanzra behind them, three of the five academy players are former LEC players. That's a good move. Um, Diamante or Diamante um, is an extra mid laner they have who has no stats. So, um, you know, I'm a fan of Misfits. I would like Misfits to be able to double down on spring. I think Vedio is extremely talented. Um, we'll see what this team does in summer. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. If you're a Misfits fan, comment down below. What do you think about the move in top lane? Do you think this hurt them, made them better? Um, do you think the rookies are going to be better this summer? And uh, yeah, so like I said, thank you for watching. And I hope you come back for more content.